I'm going to review some uh, capabilities to uh, sign and review assignments for quality inspection tests in the Quality Inspector module. Now, if you are using uh, the Role Center uh, for the Quality Inspector, and we do have three, so we do have one that's optimized for um, phones, we do have another one that's optimized for the tablet, and then we've also got one that's meant for the, the normal Business Central desktop client. So if you're using any of these three, uh, then uh, when you log into Business Central, you will have some views set up right on your Role Center that are going to help you out. So tests that are unassigned, you know, your own tests, uh, tests that are assigned, you know, to anybody that are open, uh, and things of that nature. Now, if you're not using the Role Center um, and you're just starting the test list directly, uh, there's still views that are available to you. So you can still uh, see all of the um, uh, tests that way. That's, uh, that's totally fine. And... The other way is you can also, um, or sorry, uh, and you can also assign those tests to yourself. So one way of assigning the test to yourself is you can also just go to your unassigned list. We'll just find any of these tests. So in this case here, there's this test 132. And if nobody is assigned to it, so in this case here, we see that uh, nobody is assigned, uh, we can just um, pick it up. Okay. And when you pick it up, it's just going to assign it to you, and we'll see that it removes itself from this list. Now, um, if you were to uh, open up a test, uh, you can also uh, change it directly on the test itself, just with this assigned user ID. All right, so for example, if I want to change it such that admin is actually doing the test, I can just change it in here. Now, we're going to notice that uh, inside of here, we've actually got a permission error. And this is just saying that um, currently this user doesn't have permission to actually change that assignment. All right. Now, the other way that we can assign it is um, if we just find an unassigned one. So in this case here, we do have um, one that's not yet assigned to anybody, and we can just open it up and then directly assign it to ourself. All right, and then that's also fine. Uh, and then again, if you, as long as you're not in like a view that's, you know, filtering it away from you, um, We'll just look to see if this one is not yet assigned. It isn't. So, for example, if we find uh, another test, uh, the moment that you alter it, as long as they're a quality inspector inside of that table, uh, then it will also automatically assign it to them. So, for example, if I just change this description, so we'll just call this um, example, uh, we'll see that it automatically assigns it to me. All right. So these assignments uh, work fairly straightforward. Now, you do need to have uh, in the quality... Um, permissions. Um, you do need to have the users that you want to have assigned configured in there, and uh, you need to also have the appropriate permission for a change test assigned to others if you do want to have um, the ability for some people to pick up tests that others have assigned. All right. Now, above and beyond that, uh, there's also an ability to assign the tests graphically, and you can do this with a graphical scheduler. So we're going to accomplish that with the uh, assign quality inspection tests to inspectors. So we're going to pull this open. And what we're going to see here is the same um, users that we saw inside of our, our list. So we see, you know, the unassigned uh, tests on this date. Um, we can see which ones are assigned to team member one, which ones are assigned to admin. And you can do two things. You can change who it's assigned to, and you can also change the planned start date. Now, if there is no planned start date and the test was just created, you're just going to see them start or show up basically at the very beginning of the test itself. All right. Um, as soon as you drag it into a planned start date, then that's going to adjust a field on there for that planned start. So let's change it to start on the Wednesday. And then we'll see that this particular test is now configured to start on the Wednesday. And uh, let's also drag this other test, perhaps 142, and we're going to tell it to start um, next, I think, next week here. Let's do that. So we're just going to tell it to start on next week. All right, so now we've got some tests configured to start um, next week. And uh, we have some tests configured now. Now, and you can also just view this similar to everything else that you can do inside of the graphical scheduler. You've still got the same capability. So you could always still show your work shifts, um, things of that nature. Uh, or if you want, you can also just show everything on the calendar itself if you prefer to see kind of a calendar view of, you know, assigned tests and unassigned tests as well. All right. And then, of course, you can color code it or things like that uh, based on the, you know, open status or finished status. Um, 
all of that is just uh, configuration. All right, and then if we step back and just kind of take a, a macro view, um, then we can see, you know, all of our tests. So several different ways to assign tests. You can drag and drop uh, with the graphical scheduler. And there's a handy page to deal with that, just called Assign Quality Inspection Test to Inspectors. Um, you can also use the pickup tool. Um, so for example, if we just choose anything in the unassigned, we will be able to pick it up. And then we'll have that option there, pick it up. Uh, you can also just change it directly on the test itself. So for example, if we open up this test, we can just change the assigned user there. And also if you were to automatically change the test, then uh, the assigned user gets set automatically. All right, and then to see who's assigned, you've also got the graphical scheduler views, and also on the list, you've also got all of these views that are built in, and also in the role centers, uh, we have built in uh, queues that are available to help you with all of that. So several different ways to assign tests, unassign tests, um, uh, see it graphically, see it in a list view, um, all depending on what your role is and uh, how you want to interact with uh, quality inspection assignments. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content.